a core conservative belief and concept right at the heart of conservatism is this idea of human imperfection. Um, basically, concern, conservatives view humans as not perfectible, unlike many other political ideologies. So liberals are optimistic about human nature, so socialists and especially anarchists, um, because they all assume really that uh, human nature can be improved through better circumstances, through education, and that people will benefit from ideas such as human rights. But the key thing about conservatives is they're pessimistic perhaps realistic about the potential for human improvement and progress. They think that this is limited. They think that um, human weaknesses prevent spontaneous co cooperative social endeavour. And so what we require, because of human imperfection, is strong government, strong leadership and authority. Um, we'll come back to that. So really there are three key areas of human imperfection, psychological, moral and intellectual. Um, another quote which is quite easy one uh, is, uh, O'Sullivan argues that he, uh, uh, conservatism is a philosophy of human imperfection. Now let's look at the first area where psychologically conservatives em emphasise the need for order, the need for tradition, the need for security because people are psychologically weak, they're not perfect, and they need stability. Um, and indeed, liberty provides too many choices and too much uncertainty for individuals. So therefore, they require authority. They require um, certainty through tradition, perhaps. Now we come to the moral area. This is quite a big area. Um, the idea of original sin, um, which is really an Augustinian idea, the idea that man and woman are fallen after the Garden of Eden experience, and that, that man is in a state of, of sin and, and needs to be rescued by the grace of God. Well, this idea permeates the herd of conservatism, uh, on the whole, from the 1600s onwards. Um, perhaps modern-day conservatism in the 20th century um, emphasise secular aspects rather than religious aspects. But um, quite a good quote that sums this up is Quinton Hogg, I think writing in 47, so that man is an imperfect creature with a streak of evil as well as good in his inmost nature. So in other words, if it weren't for authority, then we would have really a Hobbesian state of nature. So this is a wonderful quote, isn't it? It's part of a longer quote from Hobbes where he said, if we, if we were in a state of nature, so there's no government, we'd have the worst of anarchy, anarchy in a really um, harmful, poor use of the word, where life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Of course, Hobbes was writing at the time of the English Civil War, um, that that might be part of his pessimism. Um, but certainly for conservatives, security, uh, and safety from crime and um, is, is important and it's important to have strong government to, to, to provide tough law and order um, because crime for conservatives is a consequence of base human instincts um, is not a consequence of people's upbringing so much or um, society uh, as, um, or people's socio-economic opportunities as maybe liberals or socialists might argue. It, it's simply a, a consequence of fundamental human nature. There are some bad people. We all have bad instincts. We all have um, some harmful instincts in us, maybe in some more than others. And so what you need to have law and order and security is a strong, the strong arm of the law. You need um, a tough deterrence um, so as to make an example of people so that they don't commit crimes. So this, this is the moral um, outlook and human imperfection. Now if we look at the intellectual side, conservatives argue that our powers are strictly limited. 
that um, our powers to conjure a new society that is better um, have huge flaws because um, conservatives emphasise the irrationality and the complexity of political society. Um, it's the opposite really of the view of the French Enlightenment. The French Enlightenment to counteract um, superstition and religious views at the time placed a great deal of emphasis on rationalism, unlike perhaps the Scottish of the um, English Enlightenment. Um, it emphasises reason, logical first principles, and that you could produce a better society from this, and the French Revolution was part of that. But of course Burke was highly critical of that, as were other Conservatives. Because for Michael Oakeshott, a 20th century writer on conservatism, and well worth looking at, he argues that politics is, a boundless, is boundless and bottomless. And so what he means by that is that our relationships are highly complex, but we have millions of relationships, and that we can't simply ch change all that and introduce universal principles because it will result really in unintended consequences. So but for, for writers um, and thinkers such as Oakeshott, um, they're highly suspicious and sceptical of what they would really call doctrinaire dogmatic beliefs, such as some liberal beliefs in human rights or socialist beliefs in equality. Uh, and they certainly think that imposing big revolutionary changes on society would cause upheaval and unintended consequences. So, unlike liberalism, unlike socialism, which is optimistic about human nature, uh, conservatives are fundamentally, they would say perhaps realistic, but certainly pessimistic about human imperfection. And this lies at the root of much conservative thinking. Thank you for watching.